Hi, I'm Michael Nadlon from Market Lead, and today's video is a technical video on getting the real conversion or the real conversion value in Google Ads. So what I'm gonna do is just show you what I'm seeing some data in a client account and what I do now to actually get the real conversion data for every client that I work with. So for this client, for example, last month spent $14,000, got 139 leads for $103, and the conversion rate was 0.7%. Now, it's important to know that because we also had 147 phone calls as well. And especially for local businesses or lead generation businesses where they do get phone calls, it's really important that their data is also in the conversion column. Now, you can elect to turn that on when you're in conversions, you say add to the conversions. What I've noticed is a lot of the time, the call data does not always push through the conversions and it does not accurately reflect when people actually do call the businesses and they don't hit the thresholds of a call or even just a missed call that usually do get called back. So what I've noticed in a lot of accounts is when I actually at the end of the month do a lot of manual reporting or all, of my, all my reporting is actually automated, but when I have to do the manual breakdown of phone calls versus conversions, when you do look here, and we've got 147 last month, if we go to segments, conversions, and conversion actions, we can see here that when we get to the bottom, I will move myself up. When we get down here, we can see that uh, the phone calls were 67, but we actually had, as we saw, 147. So we're missing out on a lot of data that's actually could be used for one, reporting, but two, actual optimization. And this is where a big risk happens in accounts because if we're always looking at conversion data for optimization, something's getting phone calls and it might've been a missed call or a short call, that's not actually helping us do better optimizations in the account. So I've been doing this for a few weeks now and it's been really good to get more accurate data to clients because when I do have the conversations with clients, when we look at the conversions, they go, oh, that's great. But when I talk about the phone calls, that's what's really interesting. So what I've done is something different. And what I'm doing is it's not just conversions plus phone calls, that's the outcome. It's gonna be conversions by time, so which is more accurate I find because it attributes to when the conversion happened. Conversion by time minus the phone calls in the conversion column plus the phone calls. So what it is looks like this. Let me just go to my columns and then go to standard. And this is what it looks like. So we've got conversions here, we've got conversion by time, and then I do the real conversion by time. So what this is, is the conversions minus the phone calls that are triggered as conversions plus the phone calls. So what we've got here is that the real conversions for this campaign were actually 47, not 30 or 33. And overall for the month, we can actually see that the conversions, including the phone calls was 210, not 139 or 138. And we can see that the cost per lead is significantly lower from 103 to 68. Now these are real conversions because it's actually someone who's picked up the phone and called. The issue with a lot of people, they get funny about what you track as conversions. Is it over a minute, 10 seconds? Is it just a phone call? My goal at the end of the day is just get people to take action. If you miss a call, I still treat it like a conversion because someone just because they didn't pick up doesn't mean the person didn't take action. I want to be optimizing towards people who are calling, not towards people if they pick up a phone or not. So the reason why this is really important because you really need to get insights to ensure that when you are optimizing accounts, you're not turning off things or optimizing it based on limited data because we can see that the data here has gone from just under 140 to 210. So that's 50% of conversion data that's been missed out on. That's so much data that could be used to optimize the account, to perform better, and actually just give better insights to clients for the real performance of their account. So what I do is with this real conversion, which is conversions by time minus phone call conversions plus all the phone calls, and it's the same with the cost per conversion and the real conversion rate. You literally just go into here and you create modify columns, add custom columns, and then you just go add custom columns here. And what I did was here, it's a formula, conversions by time minus conversions by time. And then you go over here, conversion source, and then you just select either the phone call from a website or the individual conversion action plus phone calls. And once you've done that, you'll actually get that number. Then what you want to be doing is you rewrite that same formula uh, for the conversion rate, you do the exact same formula and then divide it by clicks. And then you do the same for the cost per conversion or the cost per real conversion, which is cost divided by that formula. 
This way you actually get really accurate data on what made people take action. Doesn't matter what got a result, it's what made people take action. Especially for a service-based business, phone calls are way more high intent than a lead. I actually think they're five times more high intent because someone's proactively picking up in the moment and taking action. I feel like leads sometimes can be misleading because they're actually like, someone could be doing it passively, there's a lack of high intent. So if someone's picked up a phone, it shows that they're interested, it shows that they want to engage now. So this is what I'm doing on all my service-based clients or clients that do lead generation. This way we'll have way more accurate data to make optimizations. And when we're doing the consulting and looking at what worked overall, especially on accounts that have a lot of very specific things in it, you get more accurate data on a high level rather than to always doing segmented breakdowns or using Excel sheets. This way it is so much easier. So the reason why I did this video today is really about like, I never see people do this. I never see this breakdown or the conversation around this, even in my past agencies, even with clients. And when I do have the conversation of mixing them together, the input and the output is so profound that I thought that this is too important just to keep to myself. So use it, enjoy it, share it around. I hope you get a lot of value from it. Remember, like, comment, subscribe, enjoy. Now, you know what time it is, I'll keep this short like, comment, and subscribe to keep up to date with the latest and greatest Google Ads and paid ad news. And lastly, it's your time to be number one. So Market Lead is now taking on new clients. So if you're serious about increasing sales, increasing customers, and more importantly, scaling your business, book in a strategy session with someone in my team and you'll get a free action plan. Just go to marketlead.com.au, go to the strategy session link, and then book it in there. So remember, like, comment, and subscribe. I'll keep this short. Enjoy.